Get outside. You need the sun. The sun's what's gonna keep you alive. Don't stay trapped in. There's stuff out here and you can slowly move up. You, these, these are just basic full-size power wheelchairs. Now, if you live in a power chair and you need to have tilt and space, complex rehab stuff, usually you're gonna go through a place that specializes in fitting you for a chair. So this is the Pride Jazzy Air 2 power wheelchair with elevated seat. This is gonna allow you to get higher up to cook, to get stuff out of your cabinets, to be more eye contact with someone, and also help get up and out of the chair um, with this particular unit. Now, you can buy this chair in different seating. Just so you know, this is what they call a solid seat, so or van pan seat, where it's solid. And the reason for this is if someone has pressure sores, breakdowns, skin issues, and they have a customized cushion already for their wheelchair or another chair they have, you can put that in here, or if you ever did get another cushion, you can always move them out. You'd put the Velcro down so it'll Velcro so it won't move around. It's not, we're not showing it with the Velcro right now. But that's why you would go with this. So, for example, most chairs have a seat like this. This is what we would call a contour seat, high back contour seat, right? So you can still put a cushion in here, but it's just gonna make it a lot higher, which could benefit someone. Um, but this is just standard, right? So maybe it's too firm for someone. So you would go with this particular seat if someone wants to change the cushion out, you can do it. So if they want a softer seat, they want a firmer seat, they have a customized seat, go with the solid seat. Low ground clearance. So if you're by, if you have a ride-in van, for example, if you're, or if you're thinking about getting a, a van that has the, the ramp that comes out, you, can, you can't put a lockdown underneath it. If you're, it's too low to the ground where you can't add a lockdown feature. And you might see that if you have this already, you know what I'm talking about. You want to stick with something like a, a different type of chair than this. Um, but you do have still the straps here built onto it. So if you have an AL500 lift by Harmar, you want to transport it. Or if you have an AL600 or Joey lift, hybrid lift, you can you have the locking straps that can go into here. If you're a bus rider, you can lock here. So that is nice that it has this. Um, now when Jazzy Air first came out, it was more, it was a different setup than this. So if you have an old Jazzy Air, this is the Jazzy Air 2. It's been out for a while. It comes in many different colors. This is black onyx. They put this new drive system in it, and the reason for that is most power chairs with elevated seat, they can't, the floor to ground is too high for people that are shorter. So this will allow this to get more flush down, so if the ground to the floor height, or the floor to the seat height is lower. So another reason why you might go with this, just talking about it, this solid seat, if someone is shorter and they need the elevated seat, then they can put a low profile cushion in here. So this is a lot lower to the ground than your standard contour seat. So just maybe think about that when you're buying this, if you're deciding on what seat to go with, this is kind of low at the lowest point. So if someone real short and they had maybe this cushion or a per wrap cushion or whatever they have, this is a lot easier to get into them for shorter people. You can then put the foot plate down and activate this up either through the joystick or through the, um, the control on the side that automatically brings it up. So this goes up, I believe 11 inches, check the spec page, and it still allows you to have some speed at this setting. Where some chairs with elevated seat, it's really slow. So if you lived in a city or wherever, you still, and you wanna be up higher going down your hallway in an independent living thing, you still have the speed at the higher level which is really important. So when you're looking to buy a power chair for the first time or the second time, um, there's a lot of questions you need to ask either to your local provider or to us when you're on the phone with us. Don't just buy something because the price looks good. Um, make sure you do a little bit of research before buying it. And then you can control this back down. Now you still have speed control with this unit. So you saw me moving kind of fast. Turn this off. You have a slow speed and then you have a faster speed. And then this is your joystick. 
and they can be everywhere. Now, this is a front wheel drive chair, so the turning radius is up at the front. You also have lights here too. So it's at the front. So like if you're making a sharp turn into a room, your door, doorway's right here. Once you get these wheels parallel to your door, you just can turn right in. It's gonna sway a little bit, so you gotta keep that in mind. Do you have room to turn around? This has the, you know, you gotta make sure it's, you know, it's kind of longer at the back. So there's different types of chairs you can buy. Front wheel drive chairs, back wheel drive chairs, center wheel drive chairs. The arms are adjustable. You can recline this back a little bit and these can go up and down. You can add swing away to this if you need to get closer to the table or to the counters. The, what a swing away does is allow this joystick to swing to the side to over here to where this isn't sticking out all the time. The Jazzy Evo. Now this is the LI, they also make this in an HD version. It looks like a mid-wheel drive chair. They did a good job making the width pretty narrow. It's got pretty big tires. Um, I wouldn't say this is the perfect chair for buying it, something for your yard only, but you can get outside with this unit. You can buy this in the AGM batteries. There's a difference between the LI in the AGM batteries. The cost is a little bit more with the LI batteries, but it's a brick inside of there. It's going to, the, the, the benefit to it is, let's say you have a, two houses and you want to have one of these at your beach house and one at your regular house. Well, if you forget to charge this, it will shut itself down. It'll go into a sleep mode where the other ones, if they stay plugged up and you don't have the charger on it, it will discharge and they could die. You might not be able to charge them back up. So there's a lot of pluses of buying the LI power wheelchair or the li battery with this power wheelchair the this is your speed um, the other advantage to the li let's say you're an all-day user right so you get up at seven o'clock in the morning you're in your chair but you take a nap for a couple hours well this thing's going to charge up much faster than a bat with a chair like this with the agm batteries and you can also get this in the hd version now, again, I talk about this is a more push forward. People will say it's a center wheel drive chair. It's not a true center wheel drive chair like the Compass Sport. Um, there's some other chairs out there that are true center wheels. There's advantage to all of them. Um, center wheel drive chairs are gonna be really good for inside because the turning race is more centered and true in the middle. Uh, but this might be a little bit better to get over a little threshold, like a small threshold. Um, and it's a very, very comfortable chair with the waterproof stitching. And again, you can get this seat in that chair that we talked about, the Jazzy Air. So these are adjustable. These pads can be adjusted. The arms can be adjusted. Width, the seat depth can be adjusted. You can do a lot of adjustments with this chair over some basic power wheelchairs. You can change this to come out some more. If you have uh, larger feet, you can bring this up and down. You can bring the seat height up and down, but it doesn't have a power elevated seat. But it's a great power wheelchair if you're looking for a full-size power chair with a high back seat. Very, very, very comfortable. Very dependable. Nice chair. Now, if you don't... Jazzy Elite. They have some different names for them. This is a very affordable chair, but it has the... It's more front wheel drive a little bit more forward than that. You don't have the little casters at the front. You just have these little anti-tips at the front. And I'll point this out to people is you gotta be careful if you have a steep ramp because you never wanna step on these to get into it, but it can, it leans forward a little bit more. So to go on down a steep hill or a steep ramp, I probably wouldn't tell you to go with a front wheel drive chair. <clears throat> but it's a nice with standard U1 batteries, all day use, high back seat recline. Right beside it is the Buzz About portable power chair. Now when this came out, it was like the first really break disassembled power chair with a higher back seat. So this would be a good chair for someone that 
needs a higher back seat and they also have family members or they want to disassemble it to take it somewhere this thing comes completely apart the battery pack can be removed and taken inside the charge so you can leave this in your car it has a swivel seat that has a swivel seat that has a swivel seat the jazzy air does not have a swivel seat so keep that in mind um, but this chair can come completely apart it has the um, light at the front which is pretty nice and it will turn itself off if it's not being used for a while but once you activate it like if you turned it on to go it automatically cuts on and then it'll turn itself off to reduce some power inside this battery packs 12 volt 22 amp hour battery so this is like i say like a it's not a mileage i say four to six hour chair this is more of like a six to eight hour chair I like the ones that disassemble over some of the fold-ups, depending on how often you're going to be taking it apart. You know, if you're going to do it every single day, you're going to like a fold-up power chair. But this is a chair that comes apart very quick, no tools, heaviest part. All, the, all of these chairs come apart. Um, and this is the Go chair. Now they've done, I love this chair for someone primarily using this in their house because I like the programming on it. I feel like it maneuvers and, it, and the, the joystick at, you know, responds very nice. Now, if you have this chair and you're looking at it, you're like, what is this new joystick? This is a new joystick they came out with. Usually Pride's gonna put new stuff on things to make it better. So this is the new joystick. Um, it's got a nice little, doesn't look like this is gonna come off that easy like, you, like your current chair has. You'll know that this tops come off all the time. Um, disassembles, so it's a competitor to the buzz about. It's a competitor to this with the stadium halfback seat. You know, the battery can be charged separate. Back wheel drive turns very nice, very compact, very small between the arms or the overall width, I think is like 22 and a half inches. So it's very narrow. It's the Go Chair. Comes in different colors. A lot of different colors. The shrouds can be interchanged. So if you happen to buy this and it's blue and now you want red or a different color, you can buy new shrouds and just replace them. Here is the Light Rider Envy, and if someone was in here to buy this or this, I'm trying to ask them why they want, what, what they're trying to use it for primarily. Like they say, I need a chair for inside, but also can be outside chair that I can take to the stores, I can travel with. I'm probably gonna sell you this chair over the uh, Go chair. The reason for it is the ground clearance is higher on the Envy. Um, so this is in yellow. And it's got 12 volt, 22 amp hour battery. So the battery range is a little bit longer than the Go chair. Um, it's got the link style joystick, flip back. You can adjust the arms. You can get it in a 20 inch wide seat. Um, disassembles very quickly. And um, it's just been a great chair. Probably one of the best portable power chairs we have. Uh, we really like it. Comes in a lot of different colors. Yellow, green, red, blue. And it's about 23 and a half inches. I see, you'll see these all over the place. When I was in St. Lucia, I had a, a lady that was right on one. Her and her husband was there. She was right on one. I asked them how they like travel with it. They said, it's fine. It's perfect. You know, obviously some fold-ups would be easier to travel with, but you can do that. And it's just a better motor in these, these units. And if you look right beside me, you're just going to see the same chair, but in red and blue. These move pretty quickly, but this is the new seat they came out with, with the quilted back. It is nice, very nice seat. They did a good job. I like these arms. They're not too soft. They're, they're rubbery, but they're supposed to hopefully last a lot longer than your standard vinyl ones that can tear up. the CI by Will comes in different colors on this you could change these out this is the 18 inch seat these can be changed to different colors it has the Opni wheels now this can also be disassembled 
You can also travel with it. It has the FFA battery, you know, that's very light. You can carry the battery inside to charge it. You can push yourself up a little bit. You have the flip back arms right here to get out, transfer out. I sell a lot of these chairs. I feel like to more younger active people. I had a lay down at Myrtle Beach. She's in a chair all day long. The, the big quantum chairs that she might get through her insurance, it's just too big and too heavy for her to transport and she flies. Her daughters also like to take her places shopping and stuff, so they put it in the back of the Mustang because they can disassemble this very quick. It's a wireless disconnect. So you just pull the seat off, take the basket off and remove the front and the back. But it has the Opni wheels and what's cool about this is these little wheels move. So this gives you a really tight turn. It's a back wheel drive chair, um, but it, it turns really sharp and it can actually climb a two inch curb. So I have one of these out at my house that I've been playing around with, my son's been playing with and seeing how it works in the gravel and the grass, it does awesome. I wouldn't tell you that you're gonna like riding this down your gravel road, you're just not. So, but if you had to go across the gravel road, it'll be okay, it'll handle it. I would say just keep going straight across that really loose gravel road. But it is a nice chair, big basket underneath it. And again, you can change out the cushion. You don't have to use the cushion it comes with, you can put different cushioning in here. You also, people say, well, I don't like the halfback seat. You can customize this to a taller seat. So that is an option now. So even if you have one of these and you're watching this, you can get a, a, a taller back seat. They're called like cane seats. And you take this off, attach it, and you can do different things. You put lateral supports and stuff like that. So there's a lot of stuff you can do now with the wheel. It's Bluetooth. It's got the nice back wheels. It's got um, IPX4 rating, so don't worry about if it rains on you. I wouldn't tell you to ride it into your pool or downpouring rain. It's got the spring shock suspensions at the back. Um, it's got the removable battery that's very lightweight. It's FFA approved, so you can travel with this. Um, you do have to charge it back here unless you get an accessory port that comes up to here. So if you're buying this and you can't get to the back to charge it or remove this, you need the accessory port that can be put up here, um, or you maybe need to look at a different chair. But this is the, the Will CI. I might call it a CI2 sometimes. I think this is a CI. They changed the name, a little bit different. Opni wheels, this is just a smaller version seat. So 16, 18, 20 if we had it. I went ahead and brought the zoomer in because I've changed some stuff over there. <clears throat> the reason for it, and I didn't like this foot plate, but I can tell you why I like it and why it can benefit you. Out of all the other chairs you see, all the foot plates have to be manually brought down unless you use a swivel seat. These don't have swivel seats, by the way. This doesn't have a swivel seat. No swivel seats for the rest of the chairs I'm going to talk about. But if you have a hard time remembering to put the foot plate or you can't have a hard time bending over, this is how you would get into the chair. Now this will sway on you, but you'll get used to that. And the getting out, you just do that. So that is awesome for some people. They really need that. This is kind of like, it's very lightweight. You can fold down, you pull this thing, you can fold it down like this and you can pick it up and put it in the car, but if you need to make it lighter, you can disconnect these back wheels by pulling this out and removing that. Now this is really light, and then this has these little handles that's real light. Your battery, we have an adapter. When you buy this, I'm gonna send you an adapter. It plugs into here, and so you can charge this inside your house. Currently, you can't charge this inside your house, so if you have one of these and you wanna charge it inside your house, I now have an adapter that will um, allow you to take this in your house and charge it. So that is a plus. They just came out with that on this. Um, you'll see this in the AARP magazines. You can always call me. I'll give you a great deal on this chair. It has its pluses and its minuses, just like everything. Nothing's perfect, but I do like this, again, for certain people. Right beside me is the Ally, and um, 
These are on back order. They are coming in. I didn't sell this because a lot of people, I wanted to show it to them in the store. Now this is coming with the new travel battery and it's a smart chair. It's very comfortable fold up chair. It's not going to be as light as the zoomer or the carbon, but it is a very nice chair. It's automatically locked when you turn it on safety, but then you can operate it. It's Bluetooth. You can do a lot of stuff with this chair. You have cruise control. And so I'm going to hold the up button for three seconds. And then I'm able to let it go hands free. No Bluetooth. If you want to stop it, just hit the back button. Arms do flip back. Seat's very nice. Seat can be, cushion can be taken out, changed out. You have a light right here. You have both of your USB charging hookups. One thing, if I had to point anything I don't like, I don't like when this foot plate's here. So you need to be able to, if you're a person that likes to keep your foot plate up, which some people are, you're not gonna like this chair because you can remove this completely if you don't use the foot plate. But that is a little bit in the way, um, getting up and down. It has the um, really nice back, or um, bag it comes with it, seat belt. You can turn, you can put this in free will, either through the remote, if you hold the up and the down for five seconds. Implementation now this chair can be moved freely so it disengages the brakes to where someone can push you or you can move. You can also put it in free will back here. It talks to you. You can turn that off in the app or turn it down. But this can be pushed. I like the handle here so if you get somewhere, a really crowded area and someone gets nervous to operate this, you can push it. And they are going to come back to the palm, palm joystick this is the, the top post they're going to have a palm style back on it i believe this is like a leather like leather arm pad it's really classy black teal and white are the colors and it's um chart you can charge it through here you can also charge it through the battery the battery can be removed it's not very heavy the new one coming out will have the new FFA battery, so you can charge it through here, so you can leave this in your car. This is about five, six pounds, seven pounds, give or take. And you can fold this up. There's a, there's a latch right here. It's on both sides, but you only have to do one side. And it kind of, at first, you got to get used to it, and you just kind of walk it back. And then from here, you can roll it. You can stand it up. Very nice chair. Very strong chair. You can use it in your yard. If you have a you know, decent yard, I wouldn't say, oh, buy this to be an outdoor chair all the time. I don't think I would tell you to do this, but it does handle the yard very well. And um, so <clears throat> that's your ally. So I had a conversation with a lady the other day. Now, this is a new chair to us. Uh, Robo Booter is a company that's been around for a little bit. They have a few different chairs. Golden is a distributor in the United States. So as a retailer, we have to deal with US-based companies unless we want to change our insurance and do all this crazy stuff. And it's also a lot better for us to deal with US-based companies. So now they're the distributor of this, Golden is. So they did a good job to partner with them. Now the Carbon, the Cricket, you'll see a lot of fold-up chairs. Um, carbon is, uh, I like it. I like the chair and I love the new remote they just put on this thing. I just got the phone with the sales rep from Pry. It's a hundred times better than before. If you want to go left or right, the acceleration is kind of there to get these two wheels moving where the other one kind of have a delay left or right. Also, when you go and you need to stop, it stops better. It does have, a, it has a much faster stop than the old style carbon, which I think needed it. You're also with me, you're gonna get this bottle holder for free. And I'm gonna upgrade you to the, um, the, the better cushion. This folds up very easily. The battery can be removed just like so. 
take this in and charge it. It's very lightweight. You can fly with this, airline friendly. We had a person, I said Spain, but he actually went to Norway, Greece and Norway. And it folds down by just releasing this, folds it up, pick it up. It's about 39 pounds, a little bit less to unfold it. Just take it right here. This is your brakes. So if you did need to push someone, you can push them like a transport chair, move them around. It's the, it's the Jazzy Carbon. Out of all the chairs I just showed you, I think this is a good video for you to watch to kind of get an understanding of the difference between chairs. And like I said, if you're gonna be putting something in out your car all the time and you're able to pick up 40 pounds, you're probably gonna like a fold up power chair. If you're gonna be putting in a chair once a week, you're probably gonna like some of these chairs that disassemble because they have a little bit stronger motor in them. They're a little bit better, but you need to figure out what's your more primary. Is it primary inside your house? Usually when you're doing a power chair, it's more inside, but you also wanna go outside. There's some chairs you might wanna look at over the other ones. If you need a full size power chair and your car can handle a lift, there's a lot of different lift solutions out there we can try to help you with best we can. You could go with one of these, but let's say you want a full size chair and use it all day long, but you need something to go out to the stores. Lifts are expensive. And what we're finding is false flooring in vehicles, uh, backup cameras, uh, lower body frames are lower. It's, you probably could get one of these for inside your house. So you keep it inside your house and then you could get you one of these because this is going to be cheaper than an AL500, a smart lift, and you're able to pick up 40 pounds then you can have one of these for going out to the stores or if you're flying and traveling. So it's, it's like when you buy this stuff, I know it's like, well, I don't need two chairs. I, I get it. It does a long, long time. Uh, there's many people that came in for a lift. I said, can you handle this? And they're like, yeah, I can. I said, we'll make this your travel chair. 